Lesson 285, My Holiness Shines Bright and Clear Today. Today I wake with joy, expecting but the happy things of God to come to me. I ask but them to come and realize my invitation will be answered by the thoughts to which it has been sent by me. And I will ask for only joyous things the instant I accept my holiness. For what would be the use of pain to me? What purpose would my suffering fulfill? And how would grief and loss avail me if insanity departs from me today and I accept my holiness instead? Father, my holiness is yours. Let me rejoice in it and through forgiveness be restored to sanity. Your son is still as you created him. My holiness is part of me and also part of you. And what can alter holiness itself? My holiness shines bright and clear today. My holiness shines bright and clear today.
My holiness shines bright and clear today. Our unholiness brought to the holiness of Christ allows the radiant light of truth to shine in our minds. We should awaken every morning in joy because of the happy things that we will learn that day. Different forms of forgiveness. The aim of A Course in Miracles is thus to teach us that our daily joy comes from knowing we can take a few more steps toward our goal of awakening from the dream and returning home. If this is our orientation, nothing that happens during the day will dissuade us from being faithful to our goal. In cheerful confidence, we begin our day because all things are lessons God would have me learn, regardless of their seeming form, happy or unhappy. We are thus glad because we can once again learn the lesson that the world is a dream and our holy self rests within, beyond all illusion. Our shared truth here reflects the truth of our unified state as Christ. Could anything be more joyful? Let us choose the light of holiness to be our reality instead of the darkness of sin, for we wish only to look upon the forgiven face of Christ and recognize that its holiness is our own. Only that true forgiveness can give remembrance of immortality, which is the gift of holiness and love. Forgiveness must be given by a mind which understands that it must overlook all shadows on the holy face of Christ. Let us not reinforce the seeming reality of the separation in our separated self today. And let us joyfully anticipate the lessons this day will bring. Pain has no further use, its purpose gone, replaced by the Holy Spirit's forgiveness. Let us remember that life is our dream. And if we are in pain, it is to fulfill our wish to prove that the separation is real. Father, my holiness is yours. Let us rejoice in it and through forgiveness be restored to sanity. We are still as you created us. Our holiness is a part of us and also of you. And what can alter holiness itself? Let us remember today my holiness shines bright and clear. My holiness shines bright and clear today. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. Have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow.